Hello everyone, Zuzu Gamer here and welcome back to another Crossout episode and 10.20 update is out. Most of the changes I talked in the previous video, so if you want to see the tour of the new night maps with free cam, don't forget to check out my previous video. But for now, let's see the buffs and nerfs. They buffed acceleration of all vehicles, they removed the icebox cabin buff, ghost cabin got buffed, Cerberus cabin got buffed, and most importantly, even though no one believed it, favorite cabin got the insane buff. One more energy and reduced power score and of course rest in peace hover users each installed blue hover reduces the power of the armored vehicle by five percent each installed red hover reduces the power of the armored vehicle by eight percent the tonnage of both hovers has been increased from 500 to 850 kilograms the maximum possible speed of both hovers is reduced by 12 jesus christ guys the power score of both hovers is increased from 225 to 360 another jesus christ guys so before this update with four hovers you had 900 power score but now it's 1440 uh i'm gonna say at least they didn't touch the durability but i'll guess it doesn't make a difference Rest in peace, guys. Now the power drain of our vehicle with three or fewer hovers will by default correspond to the power drain of the same armored vehicle with four hovers. That's a really strong nerf, I say. They didn't touch the durability, but increasing the power score, same as nerfing the durability, guys. Increasing the power score of the hover means you're reducing its survivability. So it's the same thing. Well, high power score hover players will only feel the maximum speed nerf, the power score nerf. But our hover friends in a low and mid power score, oh boy, they're gonna feel everything. Even I'm feeling it, guys. Can't believe they actually did it. Power score, acceleration, maximum speed nerf. What the hell did you want from maximum speed? Now players with the wheel can easily catch up to the hover players. Well, much easier than the previous update, I'll say. Yeah, it's a second maximum speed nerf, by the way. It's been a while. Well, I hope hover haters are happy. Cause you did it. Great job. But guess now what's gonna happen? All these hover players will automatically move towards 7k and above power score matches. So good luck with that. And if they like to play in low and middle power score, they will just switch hovers with Bigfoot wheels and they're good to go. Bigfoot is still durable and has a low power score. But so far, this was the most interesting nerf I have ever seen since the beginning of close beta because it literally destroys the realism like normally if you put weight on a hover build it will be slower if you remove the weight it will be faster right this is reality but here it's opposite <laughs> it doesn't make any sense like how non-armored hover and armored hover have the same acceleration can someone explain me this realism is literally dead it's dead guys can't believe it Anyway, so besides buffs and nerfs, we have daytime changing in the maps, as you know. Night maps, day maps, it goes like that. We have co-drivers update. Uh, for more details, you can check out my previous video. And of course, I will put the update link in the description. Still, championship is coming back. It's gonna be available in February 1st. I believe that's it for today. Small update, big changes. The end of the hover era. No. Basically, I say the end of realism. Don't forget to check out my Brick Ricks episodes, cool explosions, crazy multiplayer. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. But I'm gonna see you next time. Suslik out.